the rest Florida of Florida reserves time. the balance of uh, his time with the gentleman from Florida. Mr. Posey is now recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself such time as I may consume. So ordered. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I would like to commend Representative Grayson and the nearly 300 co-sponsors of House Resolution 2245, the New Frontier Congressional Medal Act. As we know, this legislation authorizes the President, on behalf of Congress, uh, to uh, issue gold medals to Neil Armstrong, Edwin Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins, and John Glenn in recognition of their accomplishments and paving the way for future missions. As we celebrate the 40th anniversary of the moon landing, we recognize President Kennedy's vision to support the great explorers of our lifetime, like the Christopher Columbuses, the Magellans, and the Marco Polos before them. President Kennedy proved to the world that the free enterprise system of the United States of America would outperform the socialist Soviet Union in the international challenge of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to Earth. Uh, one of the highlights of my life was the opportunity to work on the Apollo program as a young man when McDonnell Douglas was the contractor for the third stage. What a privilege it was to work alongside the thousands of men and women who helped make that historic achievement possible. And, you know, from a personal perspective, uh, I will always cherish this little medallion uh, that they gave each member of the launch team, uh, the medal, part of which was carried to the moon and back by the Apollo 11 astronauts. You know, it's one of those points in time where everyone old enough to be aware of their surroundings knows where they were when man took that historic first step. Uh, it was before, as uh, Congressman Grayson said, the largest viewing audience in history. Uh, I was holding up my three-year-old, grand my three-month-old granddaughter in front of the TV so that, you know, she might someday be the last uh, person living to have witnessed that historic thing. Uh, what just what a marvelous, what a marvelous event it was for all. Uh, let us remember also that their legacy continues in today's exemplary space shuttle workforce, uh, those who safely and efficiently work to ensure the completion of the shuttle's remaining flight manifest. As we hear many times, America's space program is the only thing for which the United States is undeniably, unequivocally, and universally respected for around this globe. Uh, we sometimes take for granted the thousands of technological spin-offs we enjoy from space exploration, but let us take a moment to recognize the explorers of our lifetime and appreciate how all of us have been inspired by their pursuits and benefited from America's advances in space. Hopefully we will continue to main, maintain the leading edge on space under the leadership of President Obama. Uh, I yield back, Mr. Speaker. Gentlemen.